Every year, the Satanic Temple's holiday displays challenge Christian-centric exhibits in government buildings, revealing the hypocrisy and claims of religious freedom. Amid the Iowa Capitol controversy, the Satanic Temple highlights GOP's free speech for me, censorship for the agenda. The GOP's disingenuous hearings on campus anti-Semitism add another layer to this, distracting from the party's own inconsistencies. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis criticizes the Trump administration for granting religious status to the Satanic Temple, exemplifying the GOP's selective approach to free speech. The episode unveils the GOP's trajectory towards Christian nationalism, overshadowing genuine concerns over anti-Semitism. These three articles are from Salon, Fox News, and USA Today, published December 12th, 9th, and 13th of 2023, respectively. Lots to talk about here. Uh, love to love to hear everybody's idea. Why don't we start with Helen? Nice, uh, okay. nice uh, mask. It must be like a just a, a normal <laughs> Thursday for you. It, it is. As as a card carrying member of the TSD, I have opinions about this story, y'all. I got opinions. So. Were any, uh, dear audience and my fellow nonprofits, was anybody surprised that the conservatives took this bait? No. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, exactly. The, the, the and, trick is, is, did they take the bait or are they just clutching pearls? I'd love to hear what you think. Yeah, about it, it's it's little, I think it's a little bit of both. <laughs> so, and what's, what I find interesting, like if they had just let sleeping Satan lie, you know, just let... <laughs> Let the statue be up for two weeks. Maybe some scowls, you know, like an angry Facebook post, like, oh, I wear spillage shooter, blah, 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 by your like crazy uncle, you know, and just let it go. This would have been a nothing burger, but, yep. you know, no, nobody can have anything fun. And these God fearing people, now I want to just remind everybody and i we said this in the pre-show like why do you need to stand up for jesus like he's god like so why are you throwing a fit why are you vandalizing a statue where if you have if you look at the goat head that is actually what was on the display was taken with care and um craftsmanship and people that were being generally sincere to put the time in because originally they were like hey can we do a goat's head and the tsc was and the iowa, iowa legislators like no you, you can't do that <laughs> like you can't put a goat's head <laughs> so they made one and there are people that are sculpture artists that actually worked on this and to have some butthead come around and break it which i will get to later because it 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 just makes me mad and i'm going to rant but this just this just reeks of the hypocrisy that happens year after year like freedom of a religion for me but not for thee so before i go on my rant i'm going to pass it <laughs> to infidel <laughs> and i'm going to collect myself and and take a reasoned approach to my complaints cleansing <laughs> breath Ellen. Cleansing, cleansing breath, breath. i need mm -hmm. i need a moment i need i need to have tea with satan sure. <laughs> I'm <holy okay. laughs> thoughts and prayers helen thoughts and prayers uh, now this is really just a, a, a rehashed, let's do it again, satanic panic on, you know, an abbreviated schedule. You know, I have to say, though, they, they, they didn't abbreviate on the hate. Some of the things that they said were just absolutely incredible. You know, you would think that the statue flew around the city and, and you know, the, the head cackled every few hours at everyone and scared the kids or, or you know, I, I could see being concerned there. Exactly. You know, they, they were talking about someone, some evil force is invading our state. Well, I guess I, I, I didn't know, but I was right for the taking, everyone. We're in. And as I mentioned earlier with this DeSantis comment, you know, my view would be that that's not a religion that the founding fathers were trying to create. Well, what the hell is he thinking? The founding fathers weren't trying to create a religion. They were trying to create a secular society that didn't count on a religion. But, you know, the truth is, is that he's doing that and he's blaming Trump for one simple reason. 
the guy struggling to stay relevant. I mean, he's losing to Haley Barber at the. I mean, uh, Haley Barber, uh, Nikki Haley. Haley. They yeah. all, yeah. they all, 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 all those Republicans look alike. It, it, it's, it's, it's all um, the white names blurring together. Yeah, it, it is. You know, I'm sure there's a barber in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. There's somewhere. Believe me. You know, yeah. as I mentioned before, you know, I grew up with. You know, Christmas trees and reindeers and Santa, that was all pagan idolatry, idolatry. So seeing Christians get so upset about a Satan idol is just absolutely hilarious to me. They're <laughs> crying over it while they're surrounding themselves with the symbols and the idols of their own false god. But it goes back to what we were talking about. It's about freedom for me. It's about you have the right to do what you want to. You're free to live your lives as long as you live it like I think you should. But the real shame in Iowa is that their leaders are peeing all over them. So we're peeing all over themselves over this statue, just mm -hmm. a statue at the end of the day. You know, they, they could avoid all this by not displaying any holiday icons. You know, make it a good Christmas for those people who need it, who need something more than just another Christmas decoration at the Capitol. <laughs> now, I know that's not going to happen, uh, but I, I won't deny I'm glad to see the Christian right on their heels on this. You know, it's the fear of change, like always. Now, it may be a slightly mean of me to say that I enjoy the taste of their tears so much, but it does continue to serve as a reminder that their ways are not as dominant as they once are, were. Change is coming. Their ways are dying. Literally. Now, mm -hmm. Cynthia? You can put those uh, tears in a witch's bottle, but don't open them. <laughs> <laughs> last Get them out of the Gulf. Yeah, last last week's you know, stuff, y'all. Make click here. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of uh, stories ago, we did a story on Jordan Pierce Peterson about Why his. Why are you saying that name? Because <laughs> I mean, we're invoking all the bad shit. You said George the DeSantis and 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 all this other stuff. We might as well bring up everybody's fine. name that we got to say three times. Fine. And, and then fine, they all suddenly fine. appear and. <laughs> fog up your mirror and, and then kill you by making you drink salty uh, Christian tears, whatever. But we did a story <laughs> on Jordan Peterson. I was trying to see how long I was actually going to last with that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I surprised myself. But <laughs> it, was about, it was about his new curricula and his arguments for free speech, but with a caveat. The free speech criteria is free for his ideology, but not free for those who are in opposition. So there's layers to this uh, Satan, te te uh, Satan temple story. The satanic temple story. There's layers, people. There's layers. It's an onion. Right. It's, follow, a, yes. it's a satanic onion. It's a satanic <laughs> onion fried, bloomed with full flour. <laughs> Okay, little, little Lowry's, you know, bam, like Emerald would say. <laughs> I'm getting back, y'all. But... So we, we have a holiday display with Baphomet's head that looks like a disco ball with a robe and a wreath. We got the mentioning of the presidents of MIT, Harvard, and the University of Pennsylvania who were summoned to discuss anti-Semitism on their campuses in the wake of the Israeli war in Gaza. And then we got Ron DeSantis flexing his tough woke rhetoric, stating his in his view that it would not be allowed in Florida's capital. Although, although in Florida's capital in 2014, under former governor, now Senator Rick Scott, he blamed Donald Trump for granting the TST IRS decoration for being a religious organization. I just want to let you guys know, and I'm pretty sure that Graham can co-sign on this, <laughs> that did not happen. Nope. 
Thank you, Graham. I appreciate yeah, you, that. You, you, one of the things that we that we uh, enjoy in this country is the government doesn't have to sign off on what is and isn't a religion, especially since Scientology uh, sued the pants off of IRS about that a long time ago. So they See, stay out they, of it whenever possible. Exactly. So as long as you say, hey, guess what? I was a religion. You a religion. <laughs> How right. about that? Take that Johnson Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I, I will tell you, my fellow nonprofits, that I'm a bit splintered, and I am hoping that you guys can help me. Because on one hand, I find that the outrage from the Christian right from the governor of Iowa, Kim Reynolds, calling the display absolutely objectionable, to the rank-and-file Christian outrage to the disco ball goat head at the Capitol for only two weeks... <laughs> We temporary two weeks too long two weeks too long two weeks it was a rotation come on y'all i find it absolutely laughable i think the greatest gap is when i heard there was a prayer service organized by a shelly flockhart who called the display very dark an evil force paganist the goat head and his sick disco dancing ways around uh wait for it <clears throat> Christmas tree. <laughs> they prayed around a Christmas tree. Can you I, say irony? <laughs> there's a lot of black poppy kettle going on. There's <laughs> lot, lots of <laughs> so lots, lots, <laughs> lots of glass houses with thrown with with throwing stones. Mm -hmm. Um and, and you know, and I and I can talk about even other throwing stones, including the Fox News uh interview. I don't know, did you guys get a chance to actually see it? That uh, Lucian Grief did uh, with a Fox News reporter. I, I, unfortunately, I forgot the uh, the young gentleman's name. Yeah, my um, doctor has uh, ordered me to stay away from Fox News. So, uh, so. Uh -huh. uh, you know what? That's that's probably sound advice from your healthcare professional. <laughs> but unfortunately, I did not take that sound advice, and I decided to go ahead and watch it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically. The reporter actually straw manned the entire interview. Yep. No. I know, right? It's shocking. <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> Absolutely straw man the entire. Okay, so they got together in Boston. He says they got together in Boston this weekend to show just how well adjusted they are and decided to show a clip of them saying, Hail Satan while tearing out pages of the Bible. And he said, Yeah, they're just regular, just like you and me. You know, <laughs> and, he said, and then he asked Lucian, what is your objective with people in general? I saw that you're ripping up the Bible and I would assume you would do that with children with consent of the parents. <laughs> Lucian was like, I am here to talk about the satanic temple. I am not here to talk about the after school kid uh, uh, program because we are still in litigation. And then he explains that the tenants, part of the tenants, the beliefs um, of the TST that do not include actually believing in Satan or God or any of these, these are just caricatures. And then the reporter asked him, do you get special powers from your God, Satan, from reading up Bibles? Yes. Yes. You know, I, I have social powers. Man, I go super sane every time I'm ripping up Leviticus. Let me tell you, okay? And when I get to those epistles, boy, I tell you, I'm she <laughs> But I, I but but this is my my favorite part. I love that the reporter tells Lucian at the end of the interview that he is praying. I'm praying for your brother. So insert laughter like I am watching Sophia on the Golden Girls. You know, right. I'm just picture it. Sicily, 1921. But <laughs> but you know, okay, so that, that's my one side. I'm laughing, right? But on the other side, there of my enormously amu amused self is my continuous concern for the Christian nationalist right. People who subscribe to their, their politics and their ideology here have shown that they are beyond talking. They are willing to put into their work. They're willing to put their words into action when they feel wronged. And a perfect example mm -hmm. of that is January 6, 20, um, January 6, 2021. And we have emboldened Michael Cassidy. They have emboldened rather Michael Cassidy of 
Lauderdale, Mississippi, reposting a message on X, formerly known as Twitter, tweet, tweet, that included two photos of a Thomas Jefferson statue being removed from an unspecific location and one of the Satanic Temple display. And he's a former U.S. Navy pilot who was recently defeated in the state house election in Mississippi, is accused of causing the damage. He said, quote, we have reached a point where our capitals, he misspelled it, actually. He probably he said capitals. But, you know, <laughs> I just want to point that out, are removing <laughs> Jefferson while monuments to Satan are erected. And so he took it upon himself, empowered by the Holy Ghost, hashatata, to destroy the display beyond repair. And and I know that Helen, we're gonna talk about this more. We're gonna talk about that fund that was raised. But before we go there, <laughs> Graham, what more say you? <laughs> well, you guys have covered a lot. So I think what I'm gonna do is what I tend to do every once in a while is is kind of take an objection with one of the central theses of the article. The the author says uh, conservatives claim to respect religious plurality. That's the claim. That's the that's the central thesis is they're hypocrites. Well, I disagree with that. Not anymore. They don't claim to respect li- religious plurality anymore. They are openly advocating for Christian nationalism. That's what my show is all about. I know that that gets discussed on all the ACA shows. And it's and it's not just recent. Like, you know, Let's go back to McCarthyism and the Red Scare when the words under God were added to the Pledge of Allegiance, when the one nation under God was made the national motto, and then it was added to our money. I've talked to person after person after person who thinks that these are all have been this way the whole time, and they're shocked to find out, no, that was a reaction to communism, and people just wanted to sort of make this a Christian nation. So they've never, ever, ever, ever been about pluralism. They've been about worrying that maybe Maybe we might get into a situation where I might not be able to do anything. So I'll say we're about pluralism, but then I'm going to shove Christianity down everybody's throat. Now, some some people do in the party, in the GOP do. For example, state representative John Dunwell said that I, Iowa's must, quote, either allow all displays or none, which is yeah, I couldn't sum up the law better. You know, they've they've created a public forum. You can't censor the content based on you can't censor participation, excuse me, participation based on the content of the speech. Um, but what happened to <laughs> state representative John Dunwell? He got raked over the coals by all the other Republicans. Some responses, just to give you a sam- sample of, of people on Twitter and people posting responses. One was to give quarter to the enemies of God is pathetic and contemptible. Like saying, hey, what the law is, is to give quarter. Another posted a quote of Daniel 329, which advocates for the literal murderer of unbelievers. Mm. Um, One said, this satanic statue was erected in Iowa State Capitol the past week. It's increasingly clear that we'll either have a Christian nationalism or satanic nationalism. Which way, Western man? I mean, this is the the common view in the streets. There was a crazy one I found where somebody said, this is absolutely appalling. I found a chapter of the satanic cult from Colorado that will send you free abortion pills as long as you look in the mirror when you take it and say the incantation they send to you. I think (laughs) Poe's law applies here, right? That I can't – I don't know whether or not these people legitimately believe all of this stuff and actually fear it or not. I genuinely think there's some number out there. I've met them in my life who genuinely think the satanic temple and just regular atheists are baby eating Satan worshipers that, as as somebody mentioned, draw strength from their God. When in reality, the entire enterprise of the satanic temple is a legal not fiction, but vehicle, a legal test. It's like a First Amendment censor or auditor that goes on YouTube and tries to take pictures outside the post office because you're allowed to, and, and we want to see if the cops are going to stop us. Same thing. It just, they just do it with a lot more sophistication. So, no, I don't think that Christians, especially these conservative Christian national Christians, are uh, – claim to respect religious plurality. I think we're in, we've moved into a stage where they don't care about it. They just want to get rid of it. Um, so 
the other part that I wanted to focus on real quickly is the fact that they never learn the lesson, right? That the, the pearl clutching gets them to all agitated and voted, but they never learn the lesson. There's uh, for a long time, atheists have purchased uh, ads on public buses. There was a, I forget the city down in Texas. I forget the name that said um, for for a long time the policy was we don't allow any sort of religious advertising on buses. And then Christians wanted to start advertising, so they opened it up to advertising. And sure enough, the atheists in the Satanic Temple started advertising on the buses. And what do you know? They were all like, oh, "We didn't mean Satan and atheism." You know, shock, shock, shock. They never get it. They never. I, I'm truly baffled as to how they don't understand the simple concept of, you know, it's a public forum. Either everybody gets to participate or nobody does. Either way is fine. Just make up the rule. Um, so that's where I end up is just I disagree with the premise to some degree. I think that fewer and fewer Christians today are hypocrites. They're actually wide open about their views that we should become a Christian nation if forced by needed. And and the guy attacking the temple shows sort of this temper tantrum. I know we're running short on time. What do you have any last thoughts, uh, Helen? So um, for people that have not read the seven tenets of the Satanic Temple, I suggest you go to our website and read the tenets and see what the Christians were so upset about, which the first tenet mentions compassion and empathy. <laughs> So just going to put that out there, everybody. This is what they got mad about, okay? Um, so let's talk a little bit about Michael Cassidy from Lauderdale, Mississippi. Let's talk about this motherfucker. <laughs> that he is might be charged with fourth-degree criminal mischief. He might be facing a fine up to $1,800 to $2,400, depending on you know what the state legislator and the courts decide. But... Charlie Kirk and some other crazy, you know, politicians decided were like, hey, you know what? We need to help with his legal defense. They have raised over raised over two hundred thousand dollars for geez. what might be at the most a twenty five hundred dollar fine. <laughs> Let's yeah, just for someone who has openly take... admitted to the crime. Like, yeah, I thought they were the law and order uh, side of the family no. that they were tough on crime. <laughs> now when it comes to Satan, right? No. So. I, let's all just all take a moment, y'all. This freedom fighter had who ran for his own legislator in his home state of Mississippi, and instead of like focusing on the real problems that are affecting like the real citizens that exist in his state, he took time. I don't know if he drove or flew or you know sprouted he angel traveled. wings and he traveled, <laughs> traveled, he traveled he somewhere. He was not driving. I am right. a suffering citizen. Exactly. Yeah, all the way to <laughs> Iowa to wreck a non-offensive display only Somebody to people property. that don't have two brain cells right. and then came out on Twitter and other social media admitted it like Jesus Christ on a fucking bike <laughs> like, this is the hypocrisy that ass. we're dealing with with and, Jesus' broke ass, broke yes. ass. Mm -hmm. and I am going to mention real briefly that um so the last day that this display was up, there was other members of the TSD that showed up from other states to show support and um, and fellowship and kindness to the, um, the TSD of Iowa and Des Moines that this had happened to them. So, and brought their kids and talked about like, hey, if you want freedom of expression, you fight for it. So that gives me encouragement and it, it makes me sad that, you know, people feel that instead of fighting for human rights and human justice, that they're fighting an image that has nothing to do with them. And if they took five seconds to read the tenants, they real they might realize that they might be on that side. So that's all I'm going to say about it. And I know we're running very, very short on time. So Infidel, um, give your last final thoughts before I take to Cynthia to take us out. <laughs> oh, since, uh, since you asked <laughs> Cynthia why she had to say uh, Jordan Peterson, I'm going to ruin it for everybody. To uh, stop saying that name. And, 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 <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to get worse. Uh, ben Shapiro no. and uh, Andrew Tate. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, no, why? seriously, why? though, 
I, I think the cross examiner is exactly right when he's talking about the fact that they don't care. They are open about who they are. They're open about what they want. I mean, damn, they're 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 number one guy, the Speaker of the House wants a constitutional convention. Uh, so they're, they're willing to throw everything out. So when it comes down to trusting this side, yeah, they can do their pearl cl clasping and they can cry and they can moan. But what they really want, yes, they're being very straightforward with now. They want a Christian white society. That's what they want. I anything that deviates outside of that is a problem because it's not enough that they can do what they want to do. It's that you need to do what they want you to do too. And that's not even always what they're going to do, but that that's another story. We will get to projection and hypocrisy, some other episode, but with that, and I know we're short on time, Cynthia. I just want to leave our audience and our panel with the wise words. Since we're talking about crystal balls and shape of goat heads, <laughs> I feel compelled to quote the almighty <laughs> gods of disco, the Bee Gees, <laughs> by saying, Praise be to them. <laughs> praise, praise be, praise be to, to the Bee Gees. <laughs> Goes right on till the dawn. My woman takes me higher. <laughs> My woman keeps me warm. <laughs> what you doing on your bed on your back? Ah, what you doing on your bed and on your back? Ah, you should be dancing. Yeah. <laughs> dancing. Yeah. <laughs> And maybe if the Christian nationalists weren't the grumpy people from Footloose, they would be dancing too. And if you want to dance some more or at least listen to more of us, click here. <laughs> <laughs>